How about a little rural performance test of some of the radios we've worked on on this channel? In the wind, of course. So we'll have wind noise to annoy everybody with. And I'm out at a ghost town. And of course, the lighting is all jacked up for this right now, but I'm kind of out in the middle of BFE at a old late 1800s ghost town and so I thought I would do a rural test of some of these old radios and to my surprise the Sony Mantle radio blows everybody away. This thing is, this is going to be a crappy video with wind noise and lighting issues. What I want to see as an American, as a pundit, as a commentator, as an opinionist, as a member of the media, okay, what I want to see is a debate that is at least giving the appearance of being fair. <laughs> And they pre bought like so much of it that it was running out of the ghost. But John Long, uh, 316 is just at 300. Justin. Is that LA Oldies? I'm damn near in Utah. Oh, it faded out. It's kind of DXing. So let's see if this one will get that. Sonny, what? Everybody's favorite band scans. So much. There's a pepperoni pizza. I'm like. See, I'm at about 1,200. There it is. So this was from a previous video of Resurrection. I didn't get it working right, and I went back on my own without videoing it and got it all dialed in. And the issues were the oscillator coil was bad and one transistor. So I replaced it with a modern oscillator coil out of one of those kit radios and an NPN germanium Russian transistor. 311 I think so this this kicks ass even though it's in pieces it's the hottest radio here by far I took the batteries out of the Philco and put them in here the Philco is right around the same as the Panasonic And then this kind of comes in, except, except for the noisy germanium transistors.
that's wide open on this one. And then this one and this one are pretty hot. Trying to keep the antennas all polar, except this one's got a bad speaker. Trying to keep the antennas all polarized the same way. A lot of this buzzing is the, the uh, camera. So this one, then this one. Then this one. You hear they get, as I go down the line, they get quieter. Okay. And then this one, this is the Philco I spent a ton of time repairing. Now that... The reason why the sensitivity is pretty close on all of these, this one might be 50 microvolts for 50 milliwatts. This one should be the hottest of all. Uh, and these are generally around 150 to 200 microvolts uh, for 50 milliwatts. So this is the one I fixed, but it's just a function of weak transistors. So this one's not even too bad. Here, I'll list loud this one is. So you can hear how the performance of this one kicks the ass out of that one. Kicks the ass out of that, That's a good phrase. Okay, and then this one is the absolute worst. Maybe the batteries went dead in this because it is just dead. Nothing. If you hold it to your ears... If you hold it to your ear, you can hear it barely, but yeah, this one, you know, and they all work good in the city. You'd never know there was anything wrong with any of them, but you get them out here and all of a sudden the, the noisy transistors exceed the sensitivity. So this one definitely... This one definitely has issues compared to this one. This one th didn't have a bad speaker. It would. Breaking news and 
traffic to Las Vegas at your fingertips. Your favorite KXNT through your radio. I'm uh, hundreds of miles from Las Vegas. Yeah, it's... So the two top performing small ones are these two. And they should all perform pretty close. Uh, this one is underperforming, I believe. no contest the the Sony mantle radio and I did two previous videos on this thing the Sony mantle video just smokes them all even the RF 2200 it's too bad this is not in nice shape you know that that uh, bad oscillator coil that really threw me off if you watch the first video or I think the only video but yeah the the handy personal Sony all transistor I forget the seven transistors I forget the um, oh I got a couple more we could try is this a Royal 51 Royal 810. Shut up. Um, I think uh, Joe Biden's going to say he's going to lose his place and go, look. He'll say, look, to sort of get himself back on track. Carrie, what else? All right, come on. Come on. See how it does on FM compared to the Panasonic. Probably won't compete. This works but of course this outperforms it so anyway that's that's a quick reference there this you know uh, I would I would probably if I had my choice I'd take these two uh, this one for AM this one for FM and shortwave and then for the pocket radio I would probably pick this one 
Was this the Royal 80? Maybe the T66, I don't know. It all depends on the how the transistors are. The condition of the transistors, the old transistors. Sorry for the wind noise. We're out in the middle of BFE and we're going to test a few radios we've worked on lately. About uh, 250 miles from Los Angeles where KNX Tower is. We're going to go through and we're going to listen to these. And we'll start with the SoCal, uh, what was this, the 308. To walk around without having masks on our faces, we'll be able to go back to most parts of the country to movie theaters. Is that going to happen, say, a year from now? Now we'll go to the so-called 403. It's not here yet, people, so Thanksgiving and Christmas and all the other holidays, we're going to have to be really careful. Um, basically, a year from now, what's going to make this possible? I think the vaccines are looking pretty promising. The thing that we're... Okay, now we'll go to the Philco T88. Okay, so now we'll go to the GE 10 transistor. And I'm going from best performance to worst. Actually, the GE 10 transistor and the Philco T66 are real close in performance. They're right on top of each other. And all of these have been aligned and peaked. Okay, then the GE... Uh, was this a 977 or the 997? And after the GE... This little Philco comes after that. We're starting to get into the very marginal performance. I mean, listen to this. I know the wind. President Trump has made his first public remarks since the election for his challenger, Joe Biden. The president didn't mention the election at all, but instead took a victory lap. Is, they're starting to suck. I don't know, the so-called 403 might be kicking everybody's ass here. This one is on and the volume's all the way up. And I think there's something wrong with this. It sounds like only half the audio output is working. And this should really perform as good as a six transistor Philco. This is a little bit later, it's a seven transistor Philco. So I don't know why this is so dead. Um, I think we'll have to operate on this one. These two are deaf. This is an 8 transistor GE that's a lot like the 10 transistor. What is this? A Zenith Royal 50 that, that needed a lot of help. And I ended up putting a trans, a changing one of the IF transistors, but I couldn't align it because the trans IF transformers are all filled with wax. So there's another little review. The Russian stuff is kicking ass right now. Part three of the rural, out in the middle of the desert, hundreds of miles away from home during the day, AM radio sensitivity test. How good are their ears? And I'm tuned into KNX. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm not getting any propagation stuff. So I'm, I'm going from most deaf to best hearing. This channel master super fringe, which should be wide awake, is completely dead. That might need to be the subject of a restore video. Uh, this Russian radio, you can barely hear KNX. Panasonic is a little bit better. This Russian radio is a little bit better. 
Then the Panasonic. This GE tin transistor is, hears it, but it's not real loud. Then the SoCol 308. So listen to KNX there on the GE. Then this channel masters a little better. Then this Russian SoCol radio. Then blowing everybody away is this Westinghouse. Drive-in movie theater. Local entrepreneur. Launching a series of drive-in movie screenings at the airport over the holidays. You'll turn up and there'll be a sort of contact free checking. You'll see the most important things we keep our customers and our staff safe. Uh, and then really it's a fantastic film experience. You'll be met with a Nothing comes close to this. It's eight transistor Westinghouse. Uh, nothing touches it. The, the SoCol here is a real good performer for a pocket radio. Love LA series featuring some of the most iconic movies. Yeah. KNX 1070 News Radio. It's 120. Time to check your money news with Gina Cervetti. As the coronavirus pandemic threw Americans by the tens of thousands. Okay, this is really good. That and the Westinghouse are real close. And I have basically peaked the antenna trimmer on all these radios for KNX. So I'm, this should be a pretty accurate comparison. I don't have batteries in the Channel Master, but it's pretty good. Made by Sanyo. This one, not as good as these two. The GE, you can hear it. That's the volume all the way up. Then that one. Like I said, all the way down to def. So far, out of this round of tests, I would say if you're looking for a AM radio, AM transistor radio with good ears, this so-called little pocket radio, USSR, you can't beat this thing. It's some of these little uh, small Soviet radios, and they suck. They're for local only, no DX. I thought I would power the channel master up in the city here and see if we heard anything. Because these are uh, made by Sanyo and these capacitors, the electrolytic capacitors in these just go wide open. And yes, I'm getting some, the volume is all the way up. spread during this period is to get serious about distancing in those social gatherings at least until there's widespread nationwide distribution of the vaccines in the middle of next year oh yeah get your shot get your shot us could get their COVID-19 vaccine as soon as the second week of December and more on that story coming up from CBS at 10 o'clock but right now 5.55 look at all these caps in this thing one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. These green can't can't warm them up either, but they're all open. They all need to be changed. Look at what the ba battery acid did to this. Super sensitive. Super fringe. This is probably worth recapping. To see what we can do. See how it works. Because it's got three IF stages. Converter. 
that's probably the oscillator right there if1 if2 if3 so it's got one more if stage than your average radio american made ge 10 transistor long range i really want to see this work because i bet this is a stellar performer don't know where they use 10 transistors but it looks like there was a budget model that had uh, one IF stage maybe this one has two or three these little hybrid add-on boards see there's one there there's one there that's the amplifier that's kind of the same oh, same design as the world monitor or whatever that GE copy of the transoceanic is anyway it's interesting that's a Japanese tuning capacitor but it doesn't have built-in trimmers there on the board um, I'd really like to see this work it's the problem is low very low sound output but good sensitivity which could very well be an electrolytic I got the volume wide open. If you listen, I'll tune through the stations. You hear it's picking up the camera. So what I've done is I've tried jumping these big electrolytics, that one, that one, and that one, with no, um, no change in the audio level. The next trick I'm going to try is I got two here on the audio board, and one of these little gray ones, either that one or that one could be open. Next thing I'm going to try is I'm going to touch the soldering iron to the top of the capacitor and heat it up. And hopefully there will be enough juice left in it to where if I get it hot, the capacitance will increase a little bit and we'll hear it get louder. I would rather not take that board, that little daughter subboard off the main board. What I'll do is I'll just pull the caps off and solder new ones right on the top. Not the best way, but uh, I don't want to screw with trying to take that thing off of there. Okay, I need to replace both of those. They're bad. Well, listen to that waterfall. Noisy ass transistor. Maybe this one here is weak too. In the previous administration, that's not good. We can't have that. And he's saying that to President Zelensky. Didn't demand anything. Didn't ask for anything. Listen to the waterfall. Bad germanium transistor. Noisy.
about a little urbex break and then we'll test a few more radios we've worked on uh, recently out here It's uh, gypsum lath with a half inch of uh, wet plaster over it. is made out of solid concrete. Someone really liked to do plaster work, and they were Oh, there's the TV. Gotta love the TV set there right in the corner. place was built like an absolute fortress.
can see they just kept adding on to it and adding on to it. And it's kind of bulletproof, actually. I don't know who would walk into a cement house and shoot the cement walls. I mean, bullets do ricochet. But anyway. Hey. Let's go smoke some grass. Break the new year, special financing, 250 free paragraphs and... Okay. Of course it's going to be windy, so let's go over these. It's 844-333-HAIR or advancedhair.com. People really got into the holiday spirit early this year, but when they went to dig out their deck... I'm on KNX. I'm about 125 miles from home, L.A. Oh. Wrong knob. If you're looking to be 12... And Technician to your home or your business to do a great thorough inspection. And you might think to yourself, oh, okay, so let's go over these. Yeah, unfortunately, the lighting and my positioning is not right, but we are in front of this cool background here. So, the first one, we did not work on this. This was a thrift store find. This is a Fannin. Dispatcher base station. This is like a hundred milliwatt or fifty milliwatt CB. It's on channel eleven and it does AM. This is horrible. That's CB radio. So this one. Okay, so that one's pretty good. This is a Zenith, I think it's made in Hong Kong or Taiwan. This had a bad FM RF front end transistor. I did an AMSR video on this. Uh, people did not like that, that I wasn't explaining everything every step of the way. I'm on AM, we'll do FM in a minute. Just wait for a tow truck to get there and uh, pull this. Nice and loud. Um, this is a little GE pocket radio. This was in a previous clip, but I aligned the IF, which woke it up pretty nice. So none of these are deaf. This is the SoCal that had the shorted audio output transistor. You can hear that's one hot radio right there. This is a little Japanese three band. What is this Astrotone? Ooh, nothing but the best. This is a hot radio. A lot of rain at most, about a half an inch of rain for most areas. But as we talk about what we're going to see for highs today, nice lots of sunshine for the beaches, LA and Orange County, the valleys, and the IE, with highs in the mid to upper 60s, 70s for the IE. As it will see. 62 while the mountains will top out in the low 50s with southern california's most accurate and dependable forecast I'm for now that remains closed to the public because of the pandemic fires more the i almost forgot this uh, wait until the wind i almost forgot this beauty this is the filco that was distorted and i did some more work on it which I'll share at the end of this video. Let's see. Of course the batteries are... Come on. Fiber is all around. Great thing to have. Uh, 
So. And slope operators are hoping for a better winter. It still doesn't seem like it's doesn't seem like it's hot enough. Doesn't seem that's a volume all the way up. And when this when this thing blows it away, it's not good. Anyway, the lighting here, lighting sucks. But hey, that is great. You know what? I, I stand corrected on the Philco. I forgot I detuned the RF on the cap to try and get it to stop re distorting in the city. There we go. Skip game limits today. Skip cooking. Now it's peaked up and as hot as the other radios. I almost forgot this one. General sound. This is a modern piece of junk. I need to put a picture of that on the Facebook page. Yeah. Also on Thursday, Tulsa minus two and a half. I think about the fact that in 2016, uh, out of your system rapidly. That's why we have a full five grams of fiber in the organic juice cleanse. But secondly, the liver support blip, the broccoli, the milk thistle, and all the superfoods that are. Gavin's heroic actions no doubt saved the wow. consumers' lives. We also celebrated KNX hero Nico Craig of Culver City, a transgender teen who was named a national youth ambassador for the Human Rights Campaign Foundation. His platform addressed mental wellness and suicide. Even if I'm saving just one life, it absolutely means the world to me. Our young people had their lives turned upside down almost instantly when the thing works hit, good. Adjusting to at home learning. It also meant no prom, no in person graduation. For a total piece of junk. Maybe we should compare the FM performance on this to the FM performance on the Zenith. Okay, sorry about the wind noise. Here we go, Zenith that I replaced the RF amp in versus general sound. Sure, we're still seeing a backup that starts at about all of the avenue, though, so it's Ah, nothing but the best. It's interesting why that's coming in in two places. Accomplish some of the same flavors. That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Seems pretty hot. Let's try this one. Okay, they, they seem to work comparable. So, 
Um, the conclusion here is that all of them are working right except this one. This one's still not right. Well, the alignment, the IF alignment's not right because it squeals. So, there you go. I'm not quite far enough out. I need to be 200 miles out. Look at the garden hose is still there. Interesting. Anyway, I'll include a little footage of changing some resistors in this, but I still haven't got it. Oh, and transistors. I, 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 I'm stuck on this one. Even though it's a piece of junk, I would like to fix it just for the learning experience. Lawmakers and millions of struggling Americans await the president's signature on stimulus relief. One politician says Mr. Trump is staying firm on his decision not to sign it until Americans get more money. More from CBS's Tom Fuzzy. Christmas night, strong supporter Senator Lindsey Graham tweeted, after spending some time with President Trump, patients die at the rate of one every ten minutes. California leads the nation in infections with more than two million cases. The Sunshine State isn't feeling the heat. CBS News meteorologist Jeff Faradelli explains. We have an Arctic blast making its way down these... So they're actually quite loud. There's like... A mechanical whir and then a 60 hertz hum and kind of a whistle. Very artistic. It's very artistic to take your shotgun and shoot a heart in the wall of the abandoned house to show somebody you love them. Oh wow, this was actually this was actually button board and plaster. Wow. That's earlier. That's that's weird. That's 40s right there. Let's come around to this side. Yeah, that's weird. This one wall is button board and plaster. Huh. One about one inch thick. It's drywall with holes punched in it. And then they wet plaster over it. But that's that's a trip. This wall too. You can see the crack lines. That's the pieces of button board. This is this just has a rough coat on it. This does not have, maybe that's drywall, I don't know. But this, this here just has a rough coat on it too. It doesn't, doesn't have the lime coat. But this has the lime, this has the lime coat on it. So there's the button board. And then there's a scratch coat of sand. Are we learning about something new? There's a 
button board, which is like drywall with holes in it. Then there's a half inch scratch coat of, uh, is it 30% sand or 60% sand? I forget. And then there's over the top of that, there's uh, a lime coat, which makes it flat and smooth. Interesting, interesting that in this one plywood shack, there's one wall that is basically gypsum lath and plaster. What a, well, what a trip. Okay, so this is the plaster without the button board. So this was originally on something like here. See, I can put the puzzle back together. In a previous video, I changed the capacitors in the first IF can. This was suffering from a silver mica issue. Both of these were. And upon trying to align this one, yeah, it's not in real good shape, but for learning purposes, I think it's excellent. In trying to align this, it would motorboat and squeal and make all kinds of noise, and this one did not. And I recapped both IF cans exactly the same way. This one is also very distorted on stronger stations, the one that motorboats. And I have a feeling that it's a bad IF transistor because I checked all the resistors, I checked all the DC voltages, I compared all the same values to this radio, and they're very similar. So I have a feeling this is a transistor that ha the beta, a germanium transistor that the beta has increased on. It's just a guess. I could be wrong. Uh, capacitors are good. Let's go back to phone calls. Just something you always want. showroom or visit bobsmithbmw.com and view all our inventory and complete your transaction from the comfort of your home. It's the ultimate buying experience and it's only at Bob Smith BMW off the 101 in Calabasas. Paid for by GetUpside. Man, how can you afford gas for that big SUV? I pay less for gas than everyone else. I got the gas app and get up to 25 cents a gallon cash back every time I buy gas. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're getting up to 25. Okay, so with the radio facing this direction, this is KNX. KNX is nulled, so it's weak. If I turn it, it's going to be pointing towards you. I'm downloading the free GetUpside gas app now. Download the free GetUpside app now in the App Store or Google Play and save up to 25 cents a gallon when you buy gas. Use promo code Okay, now listen to this one. Again on your next tank. Just download the free GetUpside app at the App Store or Google Play and use promo code POWER. Save money on gas on every minute. Promo code POWER. That's P-O-W-E-R. Visit GetUpside on for a system alarm system for new installation. Here it just overloads it and kills it. System for you. Call the monitoring center today. Intercom Los Angeles is currently accepting applications for all of our local stations, including KNXAM. If you are interested in a career in radio, please visit intercom.com slash careers. That's intercom.com slash careers. Or if you don't have access to the internet, call 323-930. Maybe I should apply for a job at KNX. What do you think? Intercom Los Angeles is an equal opportunity and affirmative action employer. Oh, I don't qualify. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and fix this, and I'm just going to change the first 
IF transistor and the second IF transistor and we'll see if it makes a difference. Okay, this one I can get out without pulling the circuit board off the chassis. I just got to make sure the uh, 6002 looks like it's facing this direction. Looks like this one had been out before or replaced. Who knows if this is accurate, but a beta of 19 certainly would not seem high. Look at this one, GT309. Beta is 112. Have to try this. Okay, well, it's not that one, unfortunately. So it's not that transistor. Here's a second IF, and uh, beta's 19. I don't know if these are leakages. These these might be leakages. ICE and ICE. These might be leakage. So I don't know. That's interesting. That the previous one didn't have that, but the Russian one did. Maybe I should study my tool here. Well, it's definitely not this one. In fact, did I put that in there wrong? Because now I don't have any sensitivity. Here's something kind of interesting. I have the second IF transistor out, and the audio is still getting through. But what's interesting is it, it, it still overloads. So is it the converter transistor? Okay, let me try a different transistor there. That Okay, here's a different Philco transistor I found. Same thing. Okay, I've moved on to checking these resistors right here, the voltage divider for the bias on the converter. And this 6.8 is a little high, it's 7.9. Um, I noticed that in the other radio they changed all those values. It's a little bit different of a model. Uh, they changed the values uh, of the 330 and the voltage divider. So I might replace these. What is silver band? Is silver band 20% or 10%? Gold is 5%. Silver is 10%, no band is 20%. Okay, so 10% of 6.8, 5% of 
thousand would be 680 so it's a little high this is a 1% RN55 6.81K. Exactly what it measures. This is the 6.8K out of the radio, 7.94. Now that might have changed or been damaged by me heating it up. Carbon resistors often drift when you heat them with a soldering iron. Okay, the 2.2 reads 2.3 and the 6.8 now reads 6.81. Do I think this is going to fix it? I doubt it, but one can hope, you know. It did not fix it, because I have it turned in the null. Let me turn it the other way. No, it did not fix it. The 330 ohm emitter resistor is reading 444 ohms. Might as well change that. It's out of 10%. This is a Dale RN60C mil spec resistor, 340 ohm. Look at that. These don't come in standard values, like they're not the same. There's a 332 ohm and a 340 ohm. So we're going to go 340. I doubt it's going to fix it. I mean, the resistors in the converter circuit are very picky. But, uh, I don't know. Some high energy helium to all scores. Hear how distorted that is? Jeez. It ain't right. It ain't right. Maybe I need to adjust the oscillator coil. The trip. I don't know what's wrong with this radio. I've substituted all the transistors. 
I've checked all the resistors. Uh, it's just too damn sensitive unless that was a problem with the 75. And that's why they made the changes to the resistors in the 76. I don't know. That's right. Rolling out with a little Oak Ridge Boys on your Marlboro Red filter cigarette radio. We are approaching Gray Line out here. Classic country on AM. You can tell I'm not near LA. AM Stereo 1170? Really? Okay, so let's go through and try not to trigger content ID. AM 1170 Stereo Country. I could swear that's what it said. Let me, I gotta pause this and go back and, nah, eh, screw it. Okay, performance check. Pretty good. That just is such a weird looking image. Okay. Decent. Decent, but not as good as the 76. Um, pretty good. These are all radios we worked on in some previous videos. They'll fall on the ground. It is IDing as Stereo AM Country. Yes, they are. Another one where Mrs. Miller does a better job. Anyway, this one, I took the battery out, but this one works really, really good. What is this, a Radio Shack? I don't see a model number on it. Oh, 12-7, 12-714. This one really works good. Forgot this one. This one works real good too. This one has a bad speaker. That's all three of them. Got to be out of Arizona, Kingman, but I've never heard an ID say AM stereo. That's awesome. This is that one that uh, is all distorted in in the city. It kicks kicks the ass of all of these out here, and it sounds clean too.
And Cactus Country just cut power because we are at sunset or gray line or whatever you want to call it. And it's a bummer. I was enjoying this classic country. I remember KZLA in LA in the 80s. Yep. Bye bye. There goes the sun. Got to reduce the power. Nothing like a little John Conley to get your morning started. Joshua Tree. So you can see this is station is in fact in stereo and the uh, radio in the 92 Explorer the stock AM radio uh, picks up the decodes the AM stereo Every time I go near a power line, it drops a stereo. 